What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Pixels Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. Um, this is a free general collective reading, capsule side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. We're at 11,085 right now, so I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, you guys are just the bestest, just saying. Um, it's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate leave the rest. Okay, so um, I received your channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. Um, free general collective reading. Um, the channel message I received was, it's very interesting, um, but it's for at least one, one person out there, uh, whoever this person is. Um, I heard a um, masculine Aquarian um, abundant in his own right in the public, very much in the public eye. I heard um, he is about to go through a divorce, but many people do not know this right now. However, through many series of chain events, it is about to be made known very public very soon. He knows who his real twin flame is, and it's not his current wife. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's so strong. However, that resonates for whoever. Um, it's a, um, I feel you might watch Aquarius. Um, there's a reason I'm pulling you in, or you might not. Maybe somebody you're connected to watches. Um, I'm not sure. But um, you are very abundant in your own right, Aquarius. Dude, you're an Aquarius dude. You could have Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haven, Jupiter card. So uh, very abundant in your own right. So I think you make your own money in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, it could be a career job out in 3D. It could be five side hustles. It could be a business. Um, it could be two businesses, uh, 50 businesses. Um, but you're very abundant in your own right. Um, you make your own money, basically, is what I'm feeling from that. You make your own money. Um, just saying, just saying. And um, you're, you're legally married right now, whoever you are. You're legally married to a femme energy. Um, and But people don't know you're about to go through a divorce, apparently. People don't know you're about to go through a divorce, but basically through many series, of, and you're in the public eye. So you're in the public eye. So you, whatever you do, whether you work in the 3D, full-time job, PRN job, part-time job, business, five side hustles, what have you, you're very much in the public eye. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. But you're legally married to a femme energy. You're very much in the public eye and you make your own money, honey. For real. Whoever you are and however that plugs in. But however that plugs in, you're about to go through a divorce. Um, from the femme energy you're currently married with, uh, married to legally. Um, and, uh, but many people don't know that. They don't know that right now. Um, they don't know that right now because you haven't said anything. Your current legal wife hasn't said anything, I'm presuming, or hasn't said anything to many people. But through many series of chain events, I heard it's about to become very public. It's about to become very, very, very public. Very. This Aquarius will be happy to finally get it out. Okay, I heard it's going to become very, very, very public. This Aquarius will be happy to finally get it out. So um, I heard you know you know you're not with your true true twin flame Aquarius, whoever you are. So um, you're legally married, but I'm presuming that's probably what's precipitating you to um, make these changes in your personal life. Um, so you can, I'm presuming, so you can become legally single. And hopefully connect with your twin flame if you have not already connected with um, your twin flame. Um, or reconnect with your twin flame, however that resonates. Um, to hopefully date them and show them that you're serious, possibly, is what I'm presuming. Um, that, to me, would be the right way to go about it. But, um, of course, you, only you know your story, not anybody else. But you plug it in how it resonates. But um, I, don't, I, I don't blame you. Um, I don't, but you know, some people, everybody has different viewpoints on those kind of things. Some people believe you should stay in the marriage till you in the coffin. I don't believe that, but, um, whoever you are, it doesn't sound like you believe that either. So, um, but everybody has different ideals and viewpoints, but you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard through many series of chain events, it's going to become very, very, very public. You're going to be very happy. It's going to become very public. So I don't know if you're going to make it very public, your current legal, um, them energy spouse is going to make it very public or you're both are going to make it very, very public, but somebody's going to make it very public. Um, and it's going to make you happy. So it does, it, it does sound like it's going to piss you off. It sounds like it's going to probably relieve you. Um, so 
kudos to you, whoever you are. Um, whoever you are, you believe in twin flames, I'll tell you that. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it. You believe in twin flames. Um, absolutely. freaking lutely So, um, whoever this is for. I think it's a good one. But um, some people will probably argue that, um, oh my gosh, you're getting a divorce. You know, like that. But I don't, I don't see it that way. Um, of course, I've been divorced a very, very, very long time. And I have, uh, you know, I've been against the grain on a lot of things <laughs> throughout my life. And I've gotten a lot of flack for it, um, you know, because I believe in what I believe in. Um, and people want me so badly to believe what they want to believe in, uh, what they believe in. But the thing is, is they have freedom to believe in what the hell they want to believe in. Why are you trying to force your beliefs on me? You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, a shuffle got yin and yang on the bottom of the deck. Number 22 might be very significant in one's life. Number 22, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day, day of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible um, jersey number, yin and yang. True twin flame balance. You know your twin flame doesn't take any shit. And you are so right. And you know this person does not want to get married anytime soon. And you are so right. Oh, wow. So, wow. Well, this kind of sounds like my kind of person. So you plug it in how it resonates. So whoever you are, Aquarius, you can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or... North Node, Midham, and Jupiter. You're about to go through a divorce. Um, you're in the public eye. You make good, I'm presuming, good money or fair money. Um, however, that resonates in your life. But um, I heard you know your twin flame doesn't take any shit. And I heard you're right. So you're highly intuitive, I'll tell you that. You're highly freaking intuitive. You know they don't take no shit. You're right. And why should they? And that's just the truth. Um, that's true. Um, and I heard. Um, they, they don't take any shit, and uh, you know they don't want to get married anytime soon, and you're right about that, too. So, you're highly intuitive. Um, whoever you are, you might, I mean, may I feel your uh, twin flame, of course, which is not your legally married spouse right now. Um, you know who, only, you know who your twin flame is, not anybody else, Aquarius, but I feel your twin is in the public eye, and I'm just being real. I feel they're in the public eye. I think you watch them. And, so, and I don't think like in a creepy, weird, creepy, deepy, weird way, but I feel you like follow their social media or you, um, or something of that nature, follow their social media or something, or maybe they do videos, maybe they're, um, do videos, public videos like this in some shape, form, or fashion, and you watch them in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I didn't hear any of that. That's just my deductive logic reasoning on this, um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. But in this aspect, this is the twin flame dynamic. Yin and yang. Um, yin is the femme energy. Yang is the masculine energy. Uh, twin flame coupling. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying y'all gonna go do the nasty, which I don't think you're going to by any stretch. I'm just saying when twin flame unions come into union, like dating per se in this situation, um, because you do, whoever you are, obviously you live in societal norms with a legal marriage. Um, um right now you do but i feel your twin doesn't i feel they don't live in societal norms i heard you know they don't take no shit and you know they don't want to get married right now or anytime soon and you're right about that so they don't live in societal norms you are right now but in all fairness if they probably do that for reasons <laughs> i mean i'm serious i mean they probably do that for reasons but it sounds like you are about to get out of your societal norm and to where you can at least have the potential to communicate with them if you haven't already been communicating with them or attempt to date them um for possible dating or um partnership or maybe even marriage down the line possibly if they agree to marry your ass they seem very staunch on not wanting to marry no damn body uh, but you plug it in how it resonates but to me, this is twin flame um, 
duality here. It's twin flame duality. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Um, you know who your twin is. Let me see if I hear anything else. Wow, this is a beautiful one. Oh my God. Spirit messages, you know, for Hey, yes, you can't make this shit up, man. Action. And we have man holding a coin on the bottom of the car, uh, on the deck. So 17 and 43 could be a very significant number in your life. Um, 17 or 43. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible um, green card number. Possible jersey number. 1743. We got action upright. Men holding a coin reverse. Now, before I pull the energy to get a channeling, I'll tell you what I think this is. I think this is you about to go through this divorce. You're about to have to pay out some money to your legally married feminine energy spouse. I think you're going to lose some money in this divorce, but you're highly intuitive. I think you know this shit. And I'm just being real. For some, it could be alimony. For some, it could be child support. Um, for some, it could be both. Um, but I definitely think you're about to pay some money out in this divorce. Just for real, for real. I do. I do. And I think this is your energy. Because uh, you're pulling in you. We're pulling in you. Your legally married feminine energy spouse and your twin. Um, whoever this person is, masculine or feminine. Yeah, I think this is you, for sure. And I think this is you, too. I think this is your energy, too. Action. Lots of action is about to occur with this very soon. It's going to go a lot quicker than you seem to think it's going to. And there's about to be a shocking accident soon as well. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, I heard it's going to go a lot quicker than you seem to think it's going to go, Aquarian, uh, whoever you are, Aquarius. Um, hopefully your light side, I kind of feel your light side. Um, well, I don't feel like super love and light. Like, oh, love and light all the time. But I feel your... Um, I feel your balance of the light and the dark, and I'm just being real. And that could be the yin and yang, too. Uh, I think your energy. I think your light and dark. I balance the light and dark. But I think you live on the light side. Like, I think you, um, I think you do well into the universe. I think you put well in the universe. But, you know, everybody has shadow sides. Everybody has light sides. It's how you manifest it out to the universe, if that makes sense. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, that's the truth. Um, nobody's rosy dozy all the time, and that's just the damn truth. Um, but being with the right person definitely helps bring out your positive side into the public and the universe. Um, if that makes sense, it really does. Um, you know, it's kind of like to me, it reminds me of like, um, a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets kind of energy. Um, that's what it kind of reminds me of. A lady in the sheets and a freak in the sheets. Um, you want a lady in the streets. Everybody. Mask lady or a dude. You want a lady or a dude in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Everybody wants that. Um, I would hope you want that. I hope you'd want somebody that rocks your so socks off sexually. Um, and, but in the privacy of your home without hitting camera energy in your damn house. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think everybody strives for that. Everybody strives for lady in the sheets and freak in the streets energy, generally. I, I think that's kind of what this is. I think your duality. I think you're light and dark. Um, and I think your twin might be light and dark, too. And I think you know this. I mean, I'm just being real, real. But you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it's about to go a lot faster. I mean, I could be wrong on this, but... You, you you plug in your own life out resonates. That's what I'm feeling here. But um, you are about to, I mean, not you. There's about to be a lot of action here. Um, I heard it's going to go a lot quicker than you think. So the divorce might go a lot quicker than you think, or the public publicity of you and your current legally married spouse about to get divorced might go quicker than you think, or maybe both. But something is about to go very quicker than you think. And there's about to be a significant accident in here, too. And that could be the action energy, too. Now, I didn't hear what kind of accident this is. It might be a motor vehicle accident. It might be some other kind of accident. Um, some kind of accident. It could be a fall. It could be a, um, a stabbing, a shooting, a 
motor vehicle accident. It could be um, any kind of accident energy, I guess, um, that really could resonate in a million different ways. But that's action two. I think speeding up of being public about you and your current legally married spouse about to get divorced energy, divorce energy, and the um, some kind of accident energy which is action two. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So let me see if I hear anything with this. I think this is you about to lose money off this divorce. And I'm just being serious as a heart attack about that. I've been through a divorce. Just saying, just saying. I didn't. Okay. All right. Well, we're done. I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. Namaste.